Hello and welcome to Contact Monkey Video Academy. This video will serve as a quick start guide to our template builder. We'll go over a couple of the basics, which allow you to just create and send a tracked communication to your recipients. If you're looking for something a little bit more detail, maybe have some questions about branded communications, feel free to reach out to your account manager or browser help section for additional resources. So I've started off in our recent templates view, which you can access by going to your dashboard, clicking on recent templates. I'm going to go back to our create new email. So we'll click on that drop down, go to create new email. And there's a couple of different options for you here. So you can choose from any of our designs here and build out using those, or you can start from scratch, which is what we're going to do here today. So once that's loaded up, something we always recommend is naming your template. I've got template 101 ready to go. From there, I can start building out my template. To actually create that template, that will eventually be the email you send out. What you need to do is you put in empty rows and into those empty rows, you put in content blocks. I've got an empty row already set up for us here. So what I'm going to do is just start off with that content block. And to actually put those empty rows and those content blocks in, what you do is you click, drag and drop that in. So I've got the image block. I'll click on browse opens up to my file manager. So this is a cloud-based solution, allows you to store any of the files that you would like to link to your template. So these can be images, PDFs, anything that you would like to link. I've got a header already set up here that I've uploaded using the upload button. And I'll just insert that in. Next step is to go back to my empty rows and throw one in there, just drag and drop. If you were in a scenario where you wanted maybe two content blocks next to each other, all you'd have to do is click on the outside of the row and customize the columns. So we'll add in another column here, and then I can just adjust the dimensions and have those two content blocks ready to go side by side. So let's put in those blocks. I've got my content, let's say an image here, and then a piece of text over here. So I'll go back to my file manager by clicking on browse and put in any image I like. So I'll go with this one. Then I'm ready to put in my text. When you click on the text block, you'll notice the word processor just like something you're used to seeing with other programs. Great thing about the tool is if you are creating your copy elsewhere, let's say you've got a Google Doc like my colleagues here, what you're able to do is copy any of that format and paste that back into your template. And you'll notice that the template is going to hold that formatting for you. It has those links all ready to go. Next thing we're going to do is go to rows. And we're going to end this communication with maybe a two-way question for our recipients. With Contact Monkey, you're able to put in a question and receive responses, as well as comments that are all going to be anonymous. First thing I want to do is put in that empty row. And into that empty row, I'm going to put in a content block, which will be text. You want to ask that question first. So let's say I want to ask, what did you think of last week's newsletter? And then I'll format that out a little bit. Maybe I'll highlight it, make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more prominent. And from there, I'm ready to put in my responses, which my recipients will then click on. I'm going to go back to my content block for that, and you can click on either surveys or ENPS. So I'll go for my surveys, just click, drag, and drop that in right below our question. And that survey is ready to be embedded into your template. I'll click on select surveys, and you've got a couple different options here, uh, whatever you like. Again, it's all going to be anonymous. All that you're able to see is the contact monkey license holder, the number of responses for each of those surveys that you put in and the date of the comments that are submitted. So I've got a star rating, I'll put that in. And there's my survey ready to go. I'll end this communication with maybe putting in a footer. So I've got my row. And then under content, I'll put in another image here. And click on browse. Now I've got a footer, just insert that in just like we inserted the header. So in just a couple minutes, we've created a branded communication 
which allows us to gather feedback from our recipients and have all those links tracked and ready to go. From there, I'm going to save and exit. And depending on the email platform that you have, you're going to be able to send that out just like you would in just any other communication with just a couple of simple steps. Thanks for listening and have a great day.